sharpness and detail are two very different things and mustn't be confused, but people do get them confused. Now look, this shot here is the GoPro, it is set to Pro Tube, and the sharpness is set to low in camera. On the right hand side, I've taken that shot and pushed up the sharpness to 100% in Premiere, which looks exactly the same as if I'd set the GoPro to high sharpness in camera. For sure, the one which is sharper pings more, but it doesn't add any more detail as we can see from cropping in. The image on the right may fool you into thinking there's more detail, it's just that edge sharpening is making things stand out a little bit more, but it is ugly. The other thing you're doing when you're pushing up that sharpness is you are highlighting the noise, and they've all got noise in the images because they are such small sensors with so much resolution. High sharpness shows up the noise way more than low sharpness. Now, with the GoPro in the flat mode, I would actually recommend pushing it up a little bit anyway because it is a little bit too soft. And when you put it back to full screen away from that nasty crop, it actually looks really nice. None of these cameras can withstand this amount of cropping. Well, not these cameras. To really emphasize this, this photograph was taken with the GFX 50S, which has a resolution of 8,256 by 6,192 pixels. Way more than your GoPro and Osmo Action, which is, of course, 3840 by 2160, which is uh, 4K. There is no sharpening in this image at all. This is from the RAW. Now, the metadata does give it sharpening, and I've just turned it off. And you can see how natural it is. You're zooming really massively into my face. Sorry about that. And you can see every detail. Too much detail. So this image, it does ping like this. That's because I pushed up the sharpening in post to match what it would look like if I was pushing it up in camera. Now it has the same amount of detail, it's the same sensor, it's the same lens, the same photograph. By adding the sharpness, it makes things look really quite nasty. The detail was actually still in there, but by adding the sharpness either in camera or in post, you're making it look pretty awful. Side by side, left is natural and right is with the digital sharpening. Please tell me you don't like the one on the right. Having lots and lots of detail isn't always a great thing and on portraits it can show flaws. Uh, believe it or not, I do actually have some flaws in my face, quite a few. So I am softening it now. I'm actually just using Film Convert, the softening tool within it. And yeah, don't go too far, just a little bit. And while I'm there, I'm just gonna remove that little blemish. So there you go. And to really emphasize this point, this image is much more compressed and you can see the macro blocking that happens with the sharpness. We are at the mercy of many factors with our action cameras, we're at the mercy of the resolution, the sensor, the lens, the amount of light we have, of course, the codecs and the profiles. And that's why I want my cameras to have the ability to turn my sharpness off or at least reduce it. I don't want to be stuck with over sharpened images that really I can't do much with in post. To show you what could be possible from the Osmo action, away from its preset very sharpened image, we can take a photograph because in RAW, not JPEG, in RAW, we have the ability to set our sharpness to zero. So we can see what it is actually capable of if we were able to turn our sharpness down. There, detail versus sharpness.